Peace, 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 and greetings, family. Hope everybody's doing good after the uh, solar eclipse we had yesterday. I know it was very, very, very lovely. Um, had a real nice, nice, nice time. I didn't use the glasses. Um, I just prefer not to. And I just kind of stared out into the um, into the sun yesterday. So I hope everybody's solar eclipse was wonderful and you got the um, needed upgrades and, um, you know, release or anything you need to do during the um, um, eclipse. So, family, um, today I just want to speak a little bit about um, living off grid, um, you know, just traveling and kind of just popping up whatever piece of uh, equipment you're going to be living in, just popping it up on some land and just chilling. Um, me and my partner, um, we are starting a campaign, and it's called Paint the World with Peace. And so what we're going to be doing is um, kind of just traveling different to different states and just going to be sharing our love, our wisdom, our healing medicine, and, um, and to also just embark on um knowing self more because you, you're gonna have to be really self-reliant once you start you know being out in um you know nature and you don't have so much electricity so i want to talk a little bit about um from what i've been experiencing it's been a fast month and a half so much has um happened it was just a thought it was just a thought we were sitting around one day and um we were just like, you know, hey, how would it be if we did this? And so, you know, I'm like, look, don't tell me nothing. I get some stuff pop popping. And so um, the most important thing that I, I, um, I notice on this journey is um, making sure that you have the right vehicle. So whatever trailer, if you want to do a, um, or if, you, if you're doing an RV, you're good. But if you want to do like a travel trailer or a tiny home or any type of home on wheels, you want to make sure that um, whatever vehicle you get is going to probably be a truck or an SUV, depending on your poundage. But um, you want to really make sure that whatever you're getting, that your vehicle can tow that. And so you also want to make sure, see what happened was, we didn't know that, we thought, okay, cool, all we need is a, a travel trailer and a, um, and a truck and we're good. It's more than that. I'll get into that later, but it's more than that. And so where I got my trailer from, I actually got it from a place called RV World down here in Georgia, and it was actually cheap, um, 6000 out the door, like no processing fees, no tax, and, you know, um, you know, none of that stuff like that. So um, um, I get kind of carried away. I'm still trying to bring it back. So anywho, yeah, so you want to make sure that um, – you have the right size vehicle that can tow the amount which you're going to be towing. You want to make sure you have a nice hitch. If you're going to be towing over 2,500 pounds, you're going to need a weight distribution hitch. That's different from a regular hitch. So you'll need like a receiver hitch and a weight distribution hitch. So these were things that we didn't know. We knew we needed a hitch to tow the uh, trailer, but we didn't know in depth what we know. And so normally when you go to a... Um, you go to a dealership, they're supposed to give you the 411 on, you know, what to expect, what do you need, what kind of car you need, what kind of hitch you need. So here we are, you know, you know, trying to save a little bit of more money living outside of the apartment versus the RV, which is still possible. But the startup costs can be a little pricey. So don't get discouraged from that. Um, it just all depends on your time frame. Like if you do perfect timing, like this was like last minute for us. If you do perfect timing, um, you can, you know, hook some of this stuff up yourself, like with the hitch. So what we did is instead of like getting our hitch installed at some type of like, um, place, we just decided to do it ourselves. We was like, okay, we're going to get the hitch and we're going to get, um, the breaker controllers because you need a breaker controller to, um, control the uh, travel trailer. Um. So you got to have a lot of different things that we didn't know. So um, 
But the thing is, when we got the hitches stuff, we didn't even really think. You need tools, special tools. You definitely need special tools to um, put together a hitch. Um, you also need uh, another person. Um, some hitches run up to 70 pounds and more. So you want to make sure you have another person. So, you know, we had to go We had to go through that. And then, it's, um, you know, just also making sure, 111, my car, my car time wrong but um also just making sure um because some people need certain amount of different things like we don't need so much electricity so here comes the other next factor that um we really didn't think so much into like it would be so much so when you go stay at these little rv parks it gives you all these amenities and it gives you like hookups like in order for your tiny home your trailer your rv to power up you need like a special type of a unit and they normally have them in RV parks and national parks. Cool. Here's the kicker. Some of the places to stay at is the same prices as hotels. Yeah, you could find someone that maybe five dollars a night, ten dollars a night, fifteen a night, but some of them are like twenty and up a night to stay. So it's like who wants to move out and leave from, you know, rent and then have to pay for uh, have to pay to stay somewhere. So there's another option though. You live totally off grid. And what that's calling is you have two options. You have like dry camping and you have boondocking camping. And so dry camping is kind of like you can set up sometimes at Walmart. You can set up like um you can set up little places, um, sometimes different establishments like different Walmarts and Sam's Club and certain types of truck stops let you, you know, stay there for a couple of days. But boom um docking um docking camping is um is um where you're kind of like in the boondies so there's a ton of free land all around like there's a ton of free land like i have um we're gonna be doing a blog with all of this information to just be able to help people also who's you know thinking about this so you know there's a lot of free um camping areas so whenever you find these camping areas guess what you're gonna need something to power your electricity you got a couple of options you have a generator you have solar panels, and then you have like um wind, something with the wind. You can pull in energy with the wind. So um, you know, there's pros and cons to all of that. So like, you know, I'm not gonna go deep into all of it, but you know, do your homework. You know, um, the thing with the generator is uh, it can power more. Um, it powers faster. Um, and you can use it. All seasons, 24 hours, as long as you have a little, you know, you have gas. The only thing about it is, depending on which one you get, you have to think about maintenance. You have to think about, um, you, yeah, maintenance, basically. You know, spark plugs, you know, oil chains, all of that stuff. Um, another thing to note is, depending on which one you get, some of them are loud. And if you're out in the, if you're out in the boondies, you don't want a loud generator. You don't want to attract any attention to you. And then if there's people around, you definitely don't want to, you know, upset them, be all loud. Another thing is most generators generators cost a thousand and up. So we didn't know all of this. So, you know, we were like, you know, okay, travel trailer, let's go. And you know, it just, you know, there's other things that you have to add to it. But I'm so excited about this journey. Like, um, I know everything's gonna come. And so the other option that you have is um is sound um is uh solar panels solar panels so solar panels are dope because guess what it's good for the environment they're easy dependent you know they're easy um and it's good for the fucking environment <laughs> um you know with solar panels you you know you don't have any gas you don't have to worry about any maintenance um you know it just works off the sun you know, the, the, the it's just a, a beautiful thing. It works from the sun. But the only downfall is that sometimes when you're in a shady area or, you know, you're experiencing a lot of clouds, you're not going to get that much. You know, you're not going to get that much amp. And, you know, there's other things that go with the panel, solar panels. Like, people's like, oh, solar panels. But there's other things, especially if you have, like, certain things you want to power, you need an inverter. And, you know, inverters can run up to 100 to 200 to $300, you know? So you have to check that. And then on top of that, 
You need batteries. You need soft batteries. You need deep cycle running batteries. And so those batteries just like, they're not like car batteries. So don't think you can get car batteries. Car batteries operate different from deep cycle batteries. You have to do your homework on that. You'll have to get your deep. But, um, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, it's a nice brand because, you know, the better the brand, the, the, the um, you know, the more use or the longer it's going to last and the more performance. And so, you know, those can run from three to five hundred dollars, just depending. You know, it depends on where you shop or what deals. I'm just giving you a rough, a rough estimate. Um. So, let me see. I covered over that. Um. And like, yeah, this destination. It all depends on what you need. Like, how how maintenance are you? Um. How many people you have? A big family. You need something big. But it's all doable. And I just want you guys to know that although it is a little bit work to get it started, because you always got to put a little bit of energy to what you want to manifest, it definitely still can happen. And, um, you know, I feel like your network and your community is like your wealth. It's like your support. Like, you know, we should be able to reach inside of our network and our support system. And everybody should be popping off doors. We should be, if we just all get together and kind of like just, um, support each other in this maybe you know two families might get an rv that's you know because they got some big rvs and some are huge can fit some people you know um i mean i went into one it had upstairs it had like a um like it was like a little upstairs loft and they had two beds some of them got basements they got fireplaces so some of these things and it don't cost as much as you think like it like i said mine was six thousand out the door it's um it's a uh, with it. it can sleep about let's see, one, two, three, four. It can sleep about five people, I think. Um, has like a little fold out um table couch thingy, a little bedroom and some like some bunks and stuff. It has all the necessities that we need. So, you know, come together, you know, and um make that leap if that's something that you're thinking about. I'm not here trying to, you know, push this on any anybody and say, This is the way you gotta do this way. I'm just speaking to those who, you know, maybe been in, interested in, you know, taking that leap and going out and just doing that because that's what you want to do. I know we're just definitely looking forward to really expanding and um, um, establishing more intimate bonds. Like, don't get me wrong, Facebook is cool, but when you establish an infant, like a, a, a intimate bond, a close bond, that's how I feel like, you know, enterprise really starts picking up in community and um, love and support and women and women needing help with their children and vice versa like when we get to know each other and we trust each other and we always support each other that support gets bigger and bigger and bigger the more the circle gets so you know we we, we aspire to you know um meet more people and establish more connections um and, and most of, and most and foremost it's just really sharing our healing medicine just really just coming through and just blessing you know whatever land we come in contact with and just, you know, blessing whatever people we come in contact with, you know, because I feel like sometimes we be, we be so stressed out about what is my purpose? What is my purpose? I don't know what my purpose is. What if your purpose is just to be? What if your purpose was just to hold the door for that old lady who was leaving because she was thinking about killing herself and by you holding the door, speaking some sweet words, she did. So don't, you know, don't, don't think too much about this video game. Anything is possible. I didn't even know this was going to happen and so fast. Like, Ancestors was, was in there, like, you know, from the uh, travel trailer being a, um, a, a great price, from, um, you know, the, the car presenting itself and being good. So, you know, just put it out there and you shall get it. So we, like I, I have stated before, we are, our campaign is called um, Paint the World with Peace. And so we are starting a GoFundMe to um, be able to uh, raise money to be able to still get the necessary things that we need before we head out. I think we have like less than 10 days, um, less than 10 days before the lease is up. And so um, we're just reaching out into our family and to our community. And George is asking for some uh, support. It can be a don donation of however much. Um, that you have, but it's um, greatly going into, you know, everything that we need for it. Um, oh, I forgot to add, there's um, 
there is um like a little bit of floor damage um and like some, some type of hole in the wall and so we have to also get that patched as well so um one thing i also want to add before i leave is don't get discouraged have patience and take everything day by day and make sure you like time it out like plan it out like um i feel like you know it was such a short time and everything happened like bow so now it's like we're trying to cram everything in within like nine days like you know it's a lot there is a lot of things i just didn't get all deep down in with it but um check out um our gofundme page and um you know if you're inspired or if, if you love and want to support us the link will be um below if you have any questions um let me know we're also going to be working on a um a, a video blog and so we'll be doing updates and um just giving you tips and information there'll also be like a price list of um everything that i purchased and where you can get it from and you know like my experience with using it so um i really really thank everybody uh, who came out and just um listen to my story and listen to my experience and i just really hope that it just reaches out and is able to you know inspire people and um heal people um because that's what we're here for so uh thank you again i'm going to um i'm going to add the link to this video if i can if i can't add it to the video i'll just try to like share it on my page or something so thank you again family love you love you love you